Hello, today we're going to continue on with our extended addressing example. We're going to be using the add-on profile with the add-on instruction, and we're going to be controlling our cyclic functions dynamically. Now this is something that, uh, depending on what your process is, uh, there may be times when you want to start or stop your cyclic functions or do a one-shot, and this is going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is go in and add the new module. and select our slot, we're in slot number three. That's all we need to set up, so we say okay, close that. And that of course creates our tags for our module in slot three. Now we go to the main program, the main routine, and we import our rungs. Now you'll find these, these samples uh, in the install directory under program files, Brad communication, SST, backplane communication, ladder samples, AOI, and AOP for module firmware uh, 2.12 or higher. So these, to use the add-on profile with the uh, add-on instructions, you have to have version 2.12 firmware or higher, which is our currently shipping firmware. Uh, if you have less than 2.12, then you'd have to use a generic module. Now we are going to use the paging and cyclic functions uh, for the ESR2, so we'll import that one. Now one thing you have to make sure, you go to the tags, uh, the tag is expecting, the add-on instruction is expecting the module to be in slot 3, which ours is. Uh, if yours is in a different slot number, you'll have to click on here and select uh, the proper tag for uh, the add-on instruction to work properly. So we'll just say OK for this one. And we delete the extra rung. And you can see we have the two add-on instructions here. Uh, the one is the same one we've seen in the past, which is the um, add-on profile add-on instruction. That does the actual ex data exchange uh, in the extended addressing. And then the bottom one is for controlling the dynamic, dynamic functions. Uh, so we still need to set up our paging one just like we do uh, normally. So we go into our controller tags. Uh, we go to the CLX2000 and CLX2000 configuration. And we set the same values that we set up in the um, configuration tool, which was input starting at 1,000, length 1,000, output started at 2,000 with a length of 1,000, and the status started at 3,000. Uh, so that sets that up. Now for the dynamic control of the, uh, of the functions, uh, we need to go to cyclic function state and commands. And then we need to start with the cyclic function state words. And then you see there's four different ones here for the four, four possible channels. Uh, now we're going to expand the channel zero, which is we're on. And there's the state words there from 1 to 255 uh, for each of the possible cyclic functions. So we want to control cyclic function 1 in this case. And the, the different commands you can do are activate, deactivate, one shot. In, in our case, we're going to do the deactivate, which is the number two. Uh, so we can now minimize that. And we need to go to um, the cyclic function command bits for channel zero. And expand that. And again, it goes from 1 to 255. And this is telling that uh, the program that you're actually going to activate that, um, that particular command. So for channel 1 or uh, cyclic function 1, we put a 1 there. And then we minimize that. And then to actually trigger that, we'll go down to the uh, trigger cyclic functions. But first of all, we want to download this to the CPU. Okay, now that we've downloaded the configuration, we want to make sure that uh, everything is functioning properly. Uh, so if we go back up to data, we should hopefully be able to read data from our slave device. 
and we go to the inputs, and we see 24, 25, 26, and so on. Those are the values that we're reading from our uh, from our device. Now, if we bring up the Visusic uh, program, now this is part of our configuration tool, uh, and this allows you to monitor the state of the cyclic functions. Uh, so here we see that everything is fine. The green yellow means everything is okay. Status is stat okay. Now we need to go back and actually trigger our uh, dynamic function. So we go to uh, the trigger cyclic functions for channel zero. We put in a value of one and that immediately uh, does the command and clears it. Uh, now if we take a look at our cyclic functions, we see that cyclic function number one has stopped uh, just like we wanted. So that's a very simple, easy way of controlling your cyclic functions uh, for whatever task you're, you're trying to do. Thank you.